I'm just going through my guest list, making sure you're still on for this evening. Yeah, of course. Nothing's changed since last night. Last night? Yeah, we were chatting on the phone. And it was great catching up with you again, but knowing how busy you are, I thought I'd double-check my favourite girl will be gracing my dinner table this evening. Well, of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, and I'll have a large G&T waiting for you. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, you always knew how to spoil a girl. I hope I haven't lost my touch. I doubt that very much. <laughs> we'll put it to the test this evening. I can't wait. Neither can I. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Before you start, Peter is happily married. We're old friends. Posh on, Julia. Yes, yes, uh, I'd like to order some flowers uh, for a Miss Maggie Stoker. What do you think you're doing? Sorry? Barging in here when I'm working. I didn't think. I never do, Sylvia. Just wondered which suit you want out for tonight. I've told you, I don't want you touching my things. It's just so little, though. And you've got a list of patients to see. Yeah, well, I don't think I can palm her off on some stranger just to suit my own schedule. That's what a mum did when she dumped her on you. It's not the same. I'm a father. I'm sure about that. Hello, my little sweetheart. You haven't forgotten what we talked about? Of course not. Is she's going in the crash this afternoon, isn't she, Daniel? Yep, just till surgery's over. Oh, well, that's good, because I'm leaving Ruth in charge, and we don't want any problems, do we? That won't be. Hey, um, could you call the crash for me? Um, see if they can take Izzy. No way. She's your responsibility. What? That's got to be a typing error. That's the hourly rate. For one little girl. Child care doesn't come cheap. Not if you want her looked after properly. Well, that's it. I'm going to be broke by the end of the month at this rate. It just goes to show, even free love comes at a price. Wow. Hold that moment for me, please. Tuscan skies, that's what I'm getting. Limpid pools, birdsong, and the heady scent of bougainvillea. Bellissimo! Oh, actually, it's Julia's. For her friend's retirement party? Oh, yes, of course, what a shame. I could have sworn those colours were created just for you. Is there anything you'd like me to bring tonight? Wine or something? Only your charming self. I'm more than happy to provide the rest. Just careful you don't scare her off. I've read the book, Jimmy. I intend to tread very carefully this evening. Still going with the Tuscan theme? No frills, no flounces, just simple, rustic fare. Just be careful you don't overwhelm her on the first date. Oh, I intend to keep my natural tendency to overdo things firmly under wraps this evening. Good grief. Is somebody intending to feed the 5,000? Ah, uh, yeah, that's just Heston's take on a simple rustic meal for two. Mm -hmm. Archie, can you watch the desk for me while I make a drink? And yeah, no problems. Bye. James, thank you. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Is the stats file there? Might as well take it back to the mill with me. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Enjoy your party, Julia. Oh. Kirsten, where are you? It's important. But Layla Darwish was at the surgery yesterday. This is too close for comfort. Just give me a call soon. Are there the lab results I'm waiting for? Just the insurance forms. Curry's not turned up yet. He's never usually this late, is he? Give me the patient's name. I'll ring the lab, see if they'll tell me anything. No, that's fine. Uh, we'll wait another half hour. Mm. Just want to know, George. Is she mine or not? This has really got to you, hasn't it? 
Well, she's not my daughter. What, what happens then? Well, things go back to normal. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? I don't know. I mean, this is crazy. Me drooling over some kid. Look, just wait for the results, hey? She's such a, a gorgeous, sweet-natured little thing. She can't be mine, can she? This is ridiculous. Well, he's usually pretty good. Who? A courier from the lab. Then he's waiting for test results. What? He came earlier, I forgot. You idiot. I'm sorry, all right? Just put it down there and I've got Let's busy. just check through these, ring the patient, put his mind at rest. Come on. Thank you. I'm whinging on about them all afternoon. Sorry. You go. I'll lock up after them. Oh, thank you. Just about enough of this place for one day. <laughs> I knew I was right. Sorry? The colour. Tuscan skies. Brings out the sparkle in your eyes. <laughs> you look lovely. Thank you. Welcome to my humble abode. Flowers for the table. Haven't they arrived yet? Oh, darling, you did order the flowers, didn't you? What? The table arrangements, we don't seem to have them. So it's my fault, is it? Just asking, Peter. No, you're looking for someone to blame. If it's an oversight, we'll manage. I don't want to manage. This is my party, woman, not yours. And your feeble attempts to undermine me aren't going to work. That's not fair, Peter. We agreed you would order the flowers. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I'm a bit early. And here's a sight for sore eyes. You look stunning, Julia. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, kind sir. You don't look so bad yourself. I made the effort just for you. <laughs> Come on, let's go and fix that drink, I promised. You OK? What does it say? Uh, that there's a 99% chance that Izzy's my daughter. Well, that's good, isn't it? Just starting to realise how big a deal it actually is. What, I'm wondering if you're up to the mark? I'm a gambler, George. You know, I've got the debts to prove it. That's a top coat. Mm. And underneath, I'm, I'm selfish and thoughtless and uh, basically hedonistic. <laughs> I don't do responsibility. I never have. Well, now's your chance to learn. You know, for the first time, I really do want to do things right. I want to be a good father to Izzy. And you've done pretty well so far. Yeah, more by luck than judgment. I'm just so scared of messing up. Well, that's like any new parent. That's trial and error till you get it right. You think? Yes. Don't sell yourself short, Daniel. You've got lots of good qualities. Just put them to good use for your daughter's sake. Well, I, I could get proper childcare. I mean, I can't afford to keep her in a creche. Mm, she's a childminder, then. I wouldn't know where to look. There must be loads of students out there fit the bill. That could work. Hmm. Make life easier for both of you. Come on. I need to go and pick up my daughter. Teach her how to say daddy. <laughs> they were good days, Julia. <laughs> the best. <laughs> 